हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी शोइंग अ केस विथ फाइब्रोस कैप्सूल एंड वॉट इज द मस्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंट टू हैव इन यूर किट फॉर टैकलिंग सच सिचुएशन सो वॉट वील लर्न इन दिस वीडियो इज हाउ टू टैकल द फाइब्रोस कैप्सूल हाउ टू डू हॉरिजेंटल चॉप एंड ऑल्सो हाउ टू रिमूव द स्टिक कॉर्टेक्स विच इज वेरी कॉमन इन दिस काइंड ऑफ केसेस सो द स्टेनिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट्स अ वाइट कैट्रैक्ट एंड वी नीड टू हैव कॉन्ट्रास्ट वेन वी आर टैकलिंग दिस डिफिकल्ट कैप्सूल we need to do a good staining so stay for around 20 to 25 seconds after staining under air so that it stains the anti capsule well and now your mind should start uh, examining the area of capsule and try to figure out which are the areas of fibrosis and which are probably free of fibrosis so once i made a nick in the capsule i started doing capsulexis using the forceps and remember always pull this flap tangentially and never radially as zonules may give away if you pull it centripetally with force now here i stopped because you can see now in this area that the tear is trying to get radially out so that is a red flag sign i have to stop i just aspirated the liquefied cortex to get a clearer view and now what i did i try to start the capsulexis from another area so that is one more technique to do that uh, you start the rexis from another area to get a better approach so here again you can see that this area is as well as you know fibrous so i am stretching the zonules little bit and i could get the tear there but i know that in this area i cannot proceed so i plan to do it from the other direction and uh, to certain extent i could pull it but you can see that the pull on the zonules was far greater you can see it in the replay so you have to judge here how much you can pull so if you feel that uh, zonules are good enough and the tear is uh, you know progressing you can try to increase the force little bit to see whether the tear is progressing or not otherwise we have to use another instrument that is micro scissors this is the best instrument to tackle this situation so you can go from any angle you can change the side port incision and tackle it very easily any area of fibrosis now here you try to cut it just prior to the tear so that you don't have any edges there left or any you know tags left there when you cut and create the capsulexis you can absolutely make a continuous ccc with these forceps if you are you can use your skill and here you can see that i could complete the capsule axis now you can see those tags there so these are not good in a normal capsule axis but when the area under the capsule is fibrous then it is not going to cause any extension so i am not worried about these we'll just leave them alone and will not cause any issue so this is a great instrument to have make sure you buy one immediately and keep it with you because uh, it helps in these sticky situations i will share a video later where my colleague could make a complete capsule axis with using only these micro scissors where the capsule was completely fibrous now i'm going to do a horizontal chop so longitudinal power to bury into the this floating nucleus very soft sometimes it is sticky or little bit dense as well and you can see i am just burying it and using the horizontal chop that is my 1 mm sinski goes around the equator of the nucleus to split it into pieces very easy to do in these cases and now doing the cortex removal so in these cases there is peripheral cortex or sticky cortex or it's always a chunk of cortex which is there just like the shimmering ring that we see in uh, after the operation of congenital cataracts so this is 
those kind of sticky cortex also there is corticocapsular adhesion in some areas so as you can see I teased some out using the Sinsky you can also use iris repositor now here I made a mistake I used a 23 gauge MVR and then tried to enlarge it to 20 gauge using the same and there is always a risk that you may create ragged edges like here I did so the incision was not good and I had to suture it later so if you are using a 20 gauge bimanual irrigation aspiration you should use a 20 gauge MVR so that there is no leaky incision or ragged incision now here I am using irrigation rather than aspiration to tease that uh, sticky cortex out uh, it's always safer because you are not actively aspirating you can use a little bit of force with aspiration you can catch hold of the posterior capsule or peripheral capsule and cause dialysis or rain so uh, in these cases it's also also good idea to use the irrigation cannula and use some force of the fluid to tease out those loose uh, particles or cortical elements which are there and this is another way to tease out the cortex you can see I have injected the aisle in the bag and now I am rotating it 360 degree so what these haptics do is that they tease out this uh, uh, remaining cortex from the equator of the bag which is otherwise very difficult to approach so these are few methods which are really useful in these kind of situations and uh, avoids any complications now again I am using just irrigation under the capsule and under the IOL so I can remove the visco as well as the loose particles so in these cases there will be some a little bit of cortical fibers left all around because it, these are sticky and we may not be able to remove it all it is a good idea to probably step up steroids in the post-op area so this is what I was talking about the incision was made little ragged and it was leaking so I had to suture the incision at the end of the surgery no problem with that never shy away from suturing a leaky incision many times you land up in trouble because you don't suture it on table and then post operatively you have flat anterior chamber and then you have to take the patient back on table again so always make sure that the wounds are watertight and close so there are a well, lot of things I discuss in this video do comment and share your views for more such videos do subscribe to my youtube channel also go through various playlists on my channel thank you so much